Hi, I'm Megan. I'm going to be a senior at Point Loma next year. Um, welcome to Point Loma for all freshmen and new students. Um, some info about PLHS this year. School will include three periods of live daily online whole group education, 60 minutes daily of flex time for small group instruction and office hours of teachers, and or approximately nine week quarters with three classes each quarter. Semester grades will be issued at the ends of the quarters, so they'll have two semester grades for each class. This year we're gonna be starting at 8.50, and if you need any more information, you can find it at pointlomahigh.com. So here are the quarters that we're gonna be having this year. Quarter one is gonna be periods one through three, and it's gonna be from August 31st to October 30th. Quarter two is going to be periods four through six, and it's going to be November 2nd to January 22nd. And then quarter three is going to be periods one through three again, January 25th to April 9th. And quarter four is going to be back to periods four through six, April 12th to June 15th. Progress reporting periods will end every four and a half weeks, and semester grades will be issued at the end of each nine-week quarter. Our, best, our bell schedule is going to be period one is going to go from 8.50 a.m. to 10.04. Period two is gonna start at 10.13 and go to 11.27. Period three is gonna be 11.36 to 12.50. And then the flex time where you can have your office hours or anything you need is gonna be from 2.39 to 3.29. Okay. Hi, I'm Sophie. I'm going to be a junior. So the beginning of the year. So schedules will probably be out um, close to August 28th, which is Friday. And through the first week of school, which will be sort of a training week, students are supposed to check their teacher sites and for more information on the, how their class will start. And so we are developing a distributing textbooks and Chromebooks plan. So we'll talk about it in the next slide. So for distribution, um, seniors will be able to pick up their textbooks or Chromebooks Monday, August 31st, juniors will be able to pick up their textbooks and Chromebooks September 1st, sophomores September 2nd, and freshmen September 3rd. And if any students were to miss those days, there's makeup days Friday, September 4th, and Tuesday, September 8th. So there also is a set schedule. So there are certain times in the table listed on this slide that are associated with last names. And there's directions as to how to like get your textbook. So drive to Clove Street parking lot and proceed through campus and staff will be present to assist. Oh, shit. There we go. So um, our ad administrative st staff, um, we have Principal Lowry, we have two vice principals, and then we also have a financial officer, Mr. Carter, and an assistant too. And then our counselors are organized by students' last names. So A through DEA is Ms. Kerr, DEB through JI is Ms. Fallenstein, JO through MED is Ms. Brandel, MEE through SAM is Ms. Soria, SAN through Z is Ms. Uribe. And so you can contact them through emails and they also have a homepage for each one on the Point Loma High School site. So, yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Sarah Parker, and I'm going to be a senior. Um, so for getting involved this year, research says that students who connect to school in multiple ways are more likely to be successful students. Uh, that means you should consider joining a sport or a club or maybe applying to Aaron Price. Uh, there will be more information on this later. Uh, if that doesn't sound interesting to you, you can consider joining a JRTC program uh, cheer or marching band. Uh, reach out to your counselor if you're not sure what might work for you or you don't know how to find the information. Uh, and for sports, uh, CIF San Diego has announced that the official start date for high school sports uh, for the 2020-21 school year will be on December 14th of 2020. Rather than having three seasons, fall, winter, and spring, uh, there's only going to be two seasons. Uh, this plan does not eliminate any sports for the school year, um, and each season will uh, be close to full length in a reduced calendar school year. 
Uh, Point Loma also has a few other athletic opportunities for students other than your typical PE class, uh, such as cheer, um, NJRTC, surf PE, and after school PE. Uh, to view the CIF state uh, press release and uh, any, other, any other information, go to their website. Uh, and this year for athletic clearance, athletes at PL must have athletic clearance before attending triads or practices to get cleared. Please go to that website. Uh, you must also complete every step on, e on each page of the digital forms as well as upload and submit your sports physical, a copy of your medical insurance card, a printed version of the information email re received from uh, athleticclearance.com, uh, and then the signature. All athletic clearances must be processed electronically this year. Contact Mr. Carter in the finance office with questions about this process at his email. You can also reach out to our new athletic director, Mr. Diaz, at that email. Hey guys, I'm Dylan. I'm going to be a senior at Point Loma High School. So I'm going to talk a little about the sports. For sports for season one, we have um, cross country, field hockey, football, volleyball, water polo, and badminton. Uh, for sports um, season two, we have track and field, swim and, uh, swim and dive, wrestling, golf for boys and girls, uh, softball, soccer, tennis, basketball, baseball, lacrosse. And um, also for clubs, we have a diverse range of um, student-led clubs at our school, from clubs like Circle of Friends, Care Crew, to Green um, Greenpeace PLS, um, PLA, um, Point Loma High School to improve. There's um, something for everyone to be part of. And if you decide that you want to start your own club, you have to go to, um, to a faculty advisor, fill out a couple of forms that are available on the Point Loma High, um, High School website, and get it signed by the principal and submit it for it to be for ASB for a, vote, for a vote. This process may be adjusted once the year begins. It's pretty easy. I've done, I've done it with a couple of my friends before. Hi guys, my name is Melissa and I'm gonna be a senior this year. So Aaron Price is a fellowship program for a highly motivated and diverse group of San Diego Public High School students. In this program, you will learn about government, cultural, business and nonprofit instructions and expose fellows to career opportunities and scholarships. There are qualifications and you must be ninth grade, maintain a minimum 3.0 GPA, attend monthly programs, mainly on Saturdays. You have to have a strong desire to learn, plan to attend college and are willing to share experiences and opinions. The benefits are that every month you go to a new program, each summer you go on a trip, you form new friendships, get the help with college and get a $500 stipend each year. And you can check the PLH's website for more information. So school and class colors. Um, eventually the finance office will open for you to purchase some school gear. Um, but for now, our school colors are maroon and gold and each class color also has, each class also has their own color. So 2021 is green, 2022 is red, 2023 is blue, and then new freshmen, our coming freshmen are purple, so. And then it's important you stay organized for online classes. You probably want to create a folder in your Google Drive, one for each class. Be sure to give your documents names that make them easy to find and include dates in them too. Be sure to save them in correct folders. Use a planner or online calendar such as Google Calendar to keep track of due dates and deadlines. If you're not sure which supplies you'll need for classes, you need to make sure you check your teacher's website online to see what you will need. And you can find their information on the school website as well. Okay, hi guys, my name's Kyla. Um, I'm gonna be a senior this year. So for staying informed, there's the bulletin and we use the daily bulletin to keep everyone informed. You can also find it on our website. This year, we're gonna start posting a video of the bulletin. So you'll be able to find that on the website and Instagram. Uh, the PLH website, um, it's the best way to find information. Um, here is a link to the website where you can find our daily bulletin. Um, we also have the e-blast. If you subscribe to the e-blast, um, you have to send an email to plhsnews at gmail.com or you can sign up on the website. Uh, it's also better if you tell your parents to subscribe as well. Along with that, we have um, our Instagrams. 
Each class, 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024, has an Instagram account, as, as well as the school itself, PLHS. So be sure to follow them to stay up to date on everything. So here are our class and school Instagrams. Um, they're very simple, and they correspond with your year. We also have um, an Instagram for sports, and our school Instagram is there as well. Uh, so most sports have an Instagram account specific to them. So reach out to your team captains once sports start for the account name. And have a great year. You can do it. Just start strong and stay strong. Be organized, be on time, set goals, and work to achieve them. And don't forget to ask questions. The PLH staff is there to help you, so be sure to reach out to them if you have questions, you're confused, or if you need help. We want to make sure each and every pointer has a successful start to the school year. Thanks.